Hello friends, welcome to the first Dave the Dev game dev tutorial. In this video, I'll demonstrate how to export 3D models from Blender 2.8 and how to import them into the Godot game engine. We have a lot to cover, so let's get started. I'm going to assume that you have both Blender and Godot already installed on your system. If you do not, I have included the links to the download pages in the description below. Simply download the files and follow the instructions on the site uh, for your specific platform. Okay, let's open Blender. I'm using Blender 2.8, the release candidate version. Uh, when this video comes out, uh, and in the future, you might be using the 2.8 stable version, uh, which I'm really looking forward to. So I'm gonna be showing you how to do this in the 2.8 version. All right, click. Now we're left with our standard companion cube. Uh, I'm not a fan of companion cubes, so I'm going to delete this object. Left click on the object and click X on the keyboard. And then in the menu, hit delete. To create a new object, press Shift A and we're going to mesh and we're going to create a UV sphere. If you want to rename this object, go up into the scene collection over here, double click. Let's name this our companion sphere. All right, now to export this 3D object out of Blender, we're going to go up to file and maybe you might be thinking that we're going to save as, but that is not the case. Clicking on save as will actually save this Blender project as a .blend file. So we're going to go to File, Export, and we have a couple of options here, but the Godot game engine will accept two of these options, Collada Day and Wavefront OBJ. So you might be thinking, what's the difference between these two? Uh, and the difference is, if we have an object that is, for example, a character model and it has a lot of animations on it, you're going to want to use the Collada Day. But for our object, it's static. It doesn't have any moving parts. We're going to use a Wavefront OBJ and it'll work just fine for us. So I'm gonna go ahead and click that. All right, we want to navigate to where we want to save this to. For, for me, that's gonna be on the desktop in a folder called Blender. If we look down here, here are our export options. Generally, the default options will be just fine, but if you ever wanted to change the way that Blender exports your 3D objects, the options are down here in this menu. All right, let's rename this. And go over here to export object. All right, we don't need Blender anymore, so let's close this. Let's open up our Blender folder. So Blender exported these two files. This object file contains all of our 3D points and 3D space, as well as how they're connected together. So that's the data for our 3D object. And over here is a material file that contains the, the surface materials of our 3D object. But Godot will not import this, so you can optionally delete it. If we want to create materials for this object, we can actually do that inside the engine itself. Let's open up Godot. All right, this opens up a project window and it displays all the projects that we have on our computer. If we want to create a new project, we hit new project. And under this project path, we're gonna to have to create a new folder uh, to tell Godot where we want to save our new project. For me, it's going to be under, let's see, desktop, Godot, select current folder. Let's select a name for our new project. I'm going to call this example. I'm going to create this folder. So when you have this green check mark here, you're good to go. You need to actually create the folder with the name of the project and then create, uh, select create and edit. And that will open up Godot. So I'm going to rearrange this. So now we're wondering how to get this object into the Godot engine. 
And there are two ways to do that. First, you can simply drag and drop this file into the file system Docker in Godot. That will work just fine. A second way is to open up the project in your file system explorer. Let me do this side by side. And you can actually just copy and paste this into your project folder. And when you go back to Godot, Godot will update the project for you. All right, now we have our object in our file system Docker. How do we get this object into our 3D game world? Well, that's pretty simple. All we have to do is click and drag into our world. Oh no, we have a problem, but not to worry. This says no parent to instance at child at. That's kind of cryptic. But this is just Godot's way of saying that we need to create a root node in our scene tree. So since our object is 3D, we clicked on we can click on 3D scene and that will create our first root node. Now we can go ahead and place our object in our 3D world. All right, there's our companion sphere. But you notice it's kind of offset from the the center of the world. So the way we can correct that is click on our companion sphere right here. Go down to transform and just zero out the transform. And now our 3D object is in the middle of our 3D world. Great. So what if we wanted to delete this from our 3D world? Well, that's pretty simple. We just go over to our companion sphere, right click and select delete node and confirm yes. Okay, great. Now it's deleted. What if we wanted to delete it from our project window though? In order to do that, we actually right click and hit delete, but I'm not going to do that. You might be thinking that you can actually go and delete the object from the project uh, folder inside your file system explorer, but that's actually not a good idea because when Godot imports an object resource, it will actually create these import settings files. And if you just delete the object, these import settings files will start to accumulate in your project and it will start to create errors. And also when your project becomes big enough, it will start creating nodes and node files that actually reference this, this resource. So if you just delete it in your operating system, file explorer, Godot will start to accumulate errors in your project. So the correct way to delete an object from your project is to right click and press delete. And Godot will take care of all of the housekeeping for you. Finally, when we were in Blender, I showed you the export settings menu. There is a import settings menu in Godot. So when you import an object, if you wanted to look at all of the settings for the import, you just click the object in the file system Docker and up here next to the scene tab, you'll notice that there's an import tab. So if you click on that, these are all of your options that you have for importing objects. So if you wanted to change the way that this object was imported, all you have to do is make your change and select re-import. This particular change changes the scale of our companion sphere. So if we drag this back in, we notice that our sphere is now elongated. All right, well, that does it for today. Thank you so much for making it to the end of this video. If I managed to make myself useful and taught you something new, consider lending your support and joining this new community by subscribing and hitting the bell icon to be notified about new videos. There's a lot of new content on the way that I want to cover, but if you have any recommendations, I'd love to hear about it. And also let me know what you think about these videos below in the comments, and I'll do my best to try to get back to you. See you next time. Goodbye.